morning, Monica. May I say you look terrific? <laughs> you'd look horrific if you'd been up as late as I was. Not horrific, terrific. <laughs> Attractive. I've, uh, I've taken the liberty of cooking you some breakfast. Oh, cook breakfast. <laughs> Don't bother. I'll just get some coffee for you, Mum. I'd make some real coffee. Oh, not real coffee this early, Henry. Right. I've had a bit of luck, actually. I've, I've, I've managed to get some tickets for David Bowie. Oh, great. Yes, uh, I was wondering if you'd like to come. Your spare ticket? Yeah, well, I've got mine, yes, and another one. Well, that's two. Yes. Don't you want to take a girl? I've just asked one. <laughs> well, if she's going, thanks for the thought, Dumbo. What's the name of this girl you're so keen on, then? Monica. Oh. <laughs> Would you like some real coffee now? Not yet. Oh, thank you, Henry. <laughs> I've done the washing up, Monica. I know it was your turn, but I thought... Come in. You know, sometimes I wish I didn't live here. I could stand out in the street and gaze up at your lighted window. <laughs> That'd be silly. I do live here. <laughs> if I didn't live here, I could ride past on my bicycle with no hands on the handlebars and see the sun this place. I bet you didn't ask if he smoked or how long he takes in the bathroom. Did I say you look super today, Monica? <laughs> Thank you, Henry. It's a lovely blouse. Oh, it's just some old thing I picked up somewhere. <laughs> You're probably doing something this afternoon. Oh, uh, yes. There's this boat race thing we're doing, for, we're, we're doing for the medical school rag this week. We've got to have a pretty young girl, you see, oh, and uh, I said... Well, I'm, I'm going out to see Natalie. Well, I am. We arranged it yesterday. I make up my mind, not you. Yes, you do. You're right. I'm independent. Yes, you are. You're right. Can I have some pocket money? No. <laughs> oh, you're so shallow. Where are you going? Out. What do you mean, out? O-U-T. Out. <sighs> she's all right, really. Oh, she's a very loving girl, really. She had this little teddy bear. She loved it so much, she kissed all its fur off. Ended up looking like an oven-ready tennis ball. I wish that could happen to me. I'm thinking of leaving, Mrs. Henry. Oh, Henry, you mustn't. You're my best lodger. You're my only lodger. Why? You probably haven't noticed this. But you're in love with Monica. You have noticed? No, no. Well, I am. Oh, oh, I see. In fact, I've taken my pulse just to be sure I'm clinically in love, Mrs. Haddon, and Monica hasn't noticed. Oh, I don't know what to say. What is that thing? It's a hat. She's not going to fall for me, is she? Ah, uh, probably not. Is it your hat, Henry? No, it's for this boat race thing. Wizard of Oz versus Alice in Wonderland. Oh, well, that's nice. That'll cheer you up. Take your mind off things. <laughs> well, that's just the thing, you see. We've got to have a pretty young girl to be Cox, and I said I could find one. Ah, oh, Monica. Yes, and I've failed. Oh, dear. Starts at two o'clock. Ah, uh, so you've got to have a, a pretty young girl by two o'clock? Yes. Ah, uh, could this girl be pretty-ish? Yes. Could she be youngish? Well, let's face it, Mrs. Haddon, beggars can't be choosers, just anybody in a skirt. <laughs> you talk me into it, you silver-tongued rogue. Nicola, and I realized I'd never really been in love before. Uh, I used to write her name and mine intertwined on little pieces of paper and leave them in her sand shoes. Oh. Then one day in the pet shop, I met Angela. That was a revelation. We were swept away. It was the real thing at last. And suddenly, halfway through that, there was Astrid. She had long, straight, blonde hair. The only hair worth having, really. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with your hair. 
No, 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 I've got little silver straight bits as well. Look, there's one. <laughs> Go on, Astrid. Oh, honestly, Astrid and me was incandescent. It was like, like a thousand rainbows. Has it ever been like a thousand rainbows for you and Richard? Not quite a thousand, no. <laughs> Not exactly rainbows when I come to mention it. More like generally overcast with intermittent light showers. <laughs> You seem to fall in love awfully easily, Henry. Oh, no. No, it's the real thing this time. Whenever Monica's in the room, I, I break into a sweat and I drop things. What's to be done? Well, I think the first thing to be done is to get some plastic cups and saucers. <laughs> yeah, they bounce. Never mind. Oh, I see. You're making fun of me. <laughs> well, you're quite right, too. Me and Monica. Unrequited love. It's ridiculous in this day no, and age. No, it isn't. But then there's my ears. Monica said they were funny. Did she? What? Funny ha-ha or funny peculiar? One of each, she said. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that's very hurtful, Henry. You're a very, very attractive boy. Am I? Yes. Which one's which? <laughs> Am I attractive to you? Oh, I see. That's the peculiar one. What? Oh, well, yes. I mean, you would be if I was 20 years younger. I'd be five. And I wouldn't be worried about rheumatism and dowager's hump. You didn't tell me that they threw the cocks in the river, Henry. Yes, but we don't usually. Not unless it's her fault. <laughs> Actually, you look rather good in a wet witch's costume. It's sort of clung. Henry, you're a medical student. You don't want to be struck off before you're struck on. Henry, are you joining us? We're all in the next bar. Um, uh, no, no, thanks. Uh, we're having a serious chat. Oh, well, when you've finished, bring your mother through. She's not my mother. She's a very attractive older woman. Who's not your mother, Henry? Lots of people aren't. <laughs> Come on, Henry. I'm old enough to be your mother, and I'll tell you something. I'd be proud to be, and that's a fact. Thank you. I can talk to you, Mrs. Haddon. Sheila. Sheila. I can never talk to Monica. Oh, well, nobody can talk to Monica. She's always got to have the last word, even before she could talk. The only way to shut her up was to breastfeed her. I can imagine. Well, not too much in detail, I hope. <laughs> and then when she does talk, you see, she's got this dreadful habit of hitting the nail on your head. I mean, she doesn't think that Richard and me is on at all. I think you make a lovely couple. You're not so keen. Well, half of me is and half of me isn't. Which half isn't? I think it's the bottom half. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, Henry. You're up late. What are you doing? Oh, uh, swatting. You know, the peritoneal tract. Oh, isn't that what they get when you give you a copy of Watchtower? <laughs> it's part of the body. No, Henry, it's a joke. Oh, yes. Come on, move over. <sighs> Actually, I'd better... Um... Oh, why? Are you going? Yeah, it's the colour illustrations. They make me feel queasy. Oh, I thought we could continue with our conversation. Yeah, well, I'd better finish this off upstairs. Oh, night night, then. Night, night. I'm going to wait up for Monica. Monica? Oh, yes, Monica. <laughs> Typical man. Forgotten already. <laughs> Henry? Trouble over, Henry. Huh? Where am I? You're in bed. Oh, yes. What are you doing in here? I'm in bed with you. Mom! Oh, my God, I've been sleepwalking. I'm so sorry. No, no, we're in your bed. Mom, if you want me, I'm in Henry's room. No, you're not. Get out. Mind your knee. Out! You can't. She can't find you in here. I'll lose my room. Mom, where are you? What's going on in here? Nothing. I, I was revising. And Monica was helping me with my anatomy. No, uh, histology, not anatomy. There wasn't any room in your bed, so I'm coming in here from now on. It's all right, I've got my pyjama trousers. I haven't. Come on, out you come. Yes, I'm sorry. Not you, Monica. Come on, this man's got an exam and no trousers. Oh, you don't take me seriously as a woman. No, oh, there's a yellow rose. The text is coming out of your mattress. And... Oh, oh, what's going on? Well, I think it's musical beds. Ah, oh, they look like babes in the woods. Yes, well, you cover them in leaves. I'm going to make breakfast. <laughs> it's me, Henry. Ah, uh, yes, I can see that. Mrs. Haddon, I'm very sorry that you caught me in bed with Monica. Uh, no, I didn't. I caught Monica in bed with you. Biologically, there's no difference. And I was excited. <laughs> It would have shown up on my ECG. Really? And I was wearing these awful old pyjamas. 
I can look for other digs if you like. Oh, don't be silly, Henry. You're an essential part of the household. Am I? Yes, you get the spiders out the bath. Coffee? <laughs> yes, please, thank you. And another thing, what's happened to all the leg wax? Well, don't look at me, you could rough up paintwork with my legs. Exactly. <laughs> Candy's used it. It's all gone in one week. How? She's only got two legs. Everybody's only got two legs. That's not strictly true, actually. There have been. Yeah, it's all right, Henry. Not at breakfast, them. please. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah, ta. Tea. Tea? Yes, of course, tea. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Better weather we're having than yesterday. <laughs> huh? I'm Mrs. Hatton. This is Monica. This is Henry. And you are. Sugar. You are sugar. <laughs> I mean, you know, feel free to spread yourself about. Treat the place entirely as if it were your own. <laughs> we're, uh, we're not in your way at all, are we? Mum! Oh, what do you mean, Mum? A perfect stranger comes and sits down at my breakfast table. Oh, right, don't snap my head off. I mean... <laughs> Sorry, just a little family tiff. You know how it is when you're all sitting... Will you stop doing that, please? Eh? Hey? All right, I give in. Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, you've met my Griff, then. Met him? He's practically one of the family. Who is he? He's my husband. Opening the book at random. I'm, I'm looking at a diagram. I won't say on what page. And it's called a trabecula. Trabecula. Oh. In the middle of the diagram is a little blancmange on legs. <laughs> Mrs. Haddon, the human body is filled with things that look like blancmanges on legs. Ah, but this little blancmange on legs has got some friends. <laughs> and they're swimming around a little island. And on the islands are some little aliens. Osteocytes. The blancmanges are osteocytes. The islands are osteoblasts. And there's a little thing that looks like a lighthouse called a lacuna. Very good, Henry. <laughs> Would you have a look at my ingrown toenail? We haven't done toenails. Try another page. Okay. I'm off then. Oh, hello, Monica. Oh, oh, that's nice. All right, I know it's yours. No, I was saying it's very nice on you. What time will it be back? Does it matter anymore? <laughs> now? Well, it matters to me. It doesn't. You've got more important things to worry about. You've got candy to worry about. And you've lent her my pink fluffy top. That is my pink fluffy top. It's the one I always borrow. Are we going to have a row? Excuse me, I think I'd, I'd better be going. There's no need to tiptoe, Henry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> she says she's leaving. And all because of candy. This is absolutely fascinating. What, my finger? No, not your fingers. Though they were very neatly cable-stitched together. No. <laughs> Monica and Candy. It's, it's wonderful textbook stuff, you see. Sibling rivalry, the struggle between sisters for the mother's attention. It's all there in Moorcock and Venables. All in the biscuit tin? <laughs> no, the green book underneath the biscuit tin. Psychology. <laughs> Monica sees Candy as an elder sister. Ah. No, it's not ah at all. Candy's a threat. Monica feels she's being pushed away from the mother's breast. Well, I've got two. <laughs> Only mathematically. <laughs> it's the Antigone complex, you see. The Greeks knew what was what. Uh, well, what did Antigone do about it? I think she ate her children. I'm a vegetarian. The only certain cure for sibling rivalry is the death of the mother. Ah, uh, always me who has to do the work. <laughs> oh, there's someone at the door. Hang on, I haven't cast off yet. There's someone at the door. It might be Monica. Mrs. Haddon, these fingers need plenty of rest, so don't go making any rude signs. 